I think I hope you have a great day, cleaning the dish is called garlic flavor fried ribs. It's very good. And the main ingredient we need, we need the ribs. And uh, any rib is okay. And uh, this kind of rib you butter, a big piece of a rib, and uh, you cut along the bones and this shape. And uh, you, it can be a piece, small piece, any kind of rib is okay. So the same way you cook it. Then we just soak this rib in the cold tap water for 30 minutes so let the blood come out then we will then we will rinse it clean uh, the Chinese name is called uh, Xuan Xiang Pai Gu those are the ingredients we need the rib we have soaked in the cold tap water uh, over 30, uh, 30 minutes so right now we do we just drain the water drain the water because this way uh, so the, the blood in the, in the meat can come out. So, so we just drain the water. This is the salt. We add some salt to the meat. Add some. This is the cooking one. We add some. Maybe just the one teaspoon. Then we rub the meat. We do this to want to wash the meat, get more blood out. So also, so we wash the top, and then we just rub it, and we we'll rub it just like the cooking wine and salt to soak into it, and to also this way the blood is easy to come out. Okay, then we rinse it, then we rinse it, just to rinse it, keep it from it. Just wash it until the water is clear. Wash the, rinse the ribs until the water is clear, most clear. Then you stop. So the water is clear. Just out the water. And just drain the water. Drain. Get a paper towel to dry the, dry the, the ribs. Soak most of it. Come out. Okay. So, so the, the rib is uh, be prepared. Now we get a can uh, get a container. We use this to make uh, a coating for our, for our ribs. This is a uh, potato starch. We can use the corn starch. And it's okay. We add a uh, uh, three quarter of cup of cold uh, of potato starch to this container. This is a uh, uh, this is the salt. Salt. We add a uh, one teaspoon of salt to it. This is the black pepper. Black pepper, we add a uh, uh, half teaspoon black pepper to it. This is a uh, garlic powder, we add uh, uh, two, tip, uh, two, two tablespoons of garlic powder to it. This is a paprika. We add some paprika to it. We get pink or too much. Now we mix it. Use the hand or the spoon to mix it. Let it, let it mix well. So we use it coating our ribs and then fry. Mix well. This is our ribs. Now we add this to our ribs and uh, and mix. Just slowly to the 
say so that is what holds in the, the meat now you can just the one from my bad one to do this the, the red to do this or you just uh, oh. So you just keep to wrap it so that is uh, all the starch stuff and those the coating stuff and uh, and uh, all the meat so then so we then we, we fry it you can just uh, one by one to dip it either to you if you want to fast you can get a big pot and add it to it to rub it rub it and uh, until all the coatings is on the meat and the meat is coated, so then it's done. You will just throw it right here. Okay, turn the stove. Medium fair. This is the vegetable oil, and add uh, three cup, three to four cup vegetable oil to it. We'll put a piece of uh, grease into it to see if the oil if the oil starts frying, then we can add the meat to it to fry. We don't need the oil too hot. So right now we see. So the oil right now started. It's already start frying. So we added the meat. Added the ribs to it. Slowly add to it. Just slowly fry it. When the meat is, uh, is uh, you see the fried as a uh, in the form, and you need to move it. The meat don't let it stick to the pot, and uh, and then turn over, mm -hmm. right. and turn over to fry the other side. The other, the other side. Just be very careful, don't burn bad for the oil, but the oil is very hot. Okay. So fry it. And slowly fry until the meat is fully cooked. When one side it become more uh, golden brown, we turn to the other side. Make both sides become more uh, golden brown. And uh, make sure the meat don't stick to the pot. If the pot, uh, try slowly to move it, don't let it stick to the pot. Put our pan over to fry the outside. So let the both sides become good and brown and a crispy and uh, so we fry uh, fry it and uh, turn it over to make it a frying and uh, until the the meat totally become a golden brown and it's fully cooked. If you're not sure and uh, and you can use a knife to cut the meat to see if they have a, have a runny blood, that means the meat is not cooked. If there's no runny blood, that means this meat is cooked. So right now we see this meat, it's already become the golden brown. You can see the very golden brown and uh, and if it's, uh, it's uh, I feel it's already good cooked. But you're not sure and I don't know how it's cooked or not. You can get one big piece and cut it. If there's no running blood in the uh, running blood in the meat, that means this meat is cooked. So right now we get the meat out. This meat out to drain the oil. It's 
me there. Oh. Okay. We drain the meat. Drain the oil. Then we add more ribs into the fry. And slowly add to be careful. Don't drop into it. Be very careful. It's very hot oil. So be very careful. Please. Okay, we fry it and then a little well, then we move the meat to pan over to fry the outside. So this way the meat is fully cooked. To fry the outside. We just keep it fry and pan over to the outside, then pan to the side. Fry a little while and come to the outside. Let the whole meat is fully, fully cooked. So yeah, so fully, uh, fully oil fried, and fully cooked. Okay. So when the meat becomes those kind of golden brown, then we take out the meat out. This meat, this meat is cooked. If you're not sure, you can use a knife to poke the meat. If no uh, blood, runny blood, come out. You, very close to the bone, you use a knife to, to poke, poke and if so no runny blood come out, then this, this is cooked. So we just take it out and to drain the oil, to, to drain the oil to let the meat cook, but uh, drain the oil in the meat, then this dish is, uh, then this uh, pop it down. Okay, then we drain the, drain the oil. The drain the oil the meat as it cool down and uh, then we put on a wax paper and on a plate and put a through parsley that plate so this dish is not going to be and I hope you like it and uh, please subscribe share like and comment uh, this uh, the Xuanxiang Pai Gu the garlic flavor fried ribs this dish is done